Hey, and welcome to the tutorial that's going to show you how to generate an entirely open shift schedule. So we're just logged in as a scheduling manager, and we're going to go ahead and show you how to create an entirely open shift schedule. So just start by hitting schedules at the top, and then going to our view 2. So now that we're on the screen, um, we're just looking at February 23rd to March 1st, so we'll do a week of schedule. Um, all we want to do is click advanced. That just brings up our scheduling options, just like before with uh, generating um, a filled schedule. So then we're going to hit Generate Open Shifts. And we'll select our template. Uh, we'll do Busy Week. And then just have to click Generate Open Shifts. So as you can see in this view, um, Open Shifts will always show up at the very top there. And so every single shift we have is kind of filled into there. So it's used our predefined template, and instead of using the algorithm to kind of find out who's available, it's just left all the shifts unfilled. So what this does um, is it's going to send it out to your employees, and they're going to be able to pick up shifts on a first-come, first-served basis. So it's kind of a we we have a couple clients that do their entire schedules this way, and we'll kind of release this a few weeks in advance and have their employees go in and fill all the shifts that they want to be working and any shifts that aren't filled, you can then go back and just fill in with whoever is available at the end. So um, you can also fill any of these shifts right now if you want. Maybe you have someone who always works this 9 to 5 on a Sunday. You would just click that shift, click the uh, right next to employee, and you can see all the employees that are available. Their skill levels, so most skilled will come up first, and then how many hours they've been working this week. So right now, of course, everyone's at zero hours because we've got the open schedule. So we'll select Dan Brown, he's most skilled, and just click Save. And so that then automatically moves that shift down to uh, Dan Brown's schedule. So you can do that for all the shifts you need. Um, as well, note that if maybe you're missing a couple shifts on here, maybe your template, you forgot some, you can just click anywhere in that blank space, or click Add Shift up here on the left. That just brings up our Create New Shift window. All you have to do is select, uh, select a position, so we'll do Supervisor. You can select your time, and then under shift options, we can create multiple shifts if we want to, and then you can select which days you want those two shifts to occur on. So maybe we're missing a couple shifts Monday, Wednesday. We'll click save, and as you can see, that's automatically added those two shifts to our uh, open shift schedule. So now what we're going to do is actually go ahead and approve it. So of course, we just click Approve. Everything's filled in for us. Calendar dates are right. And we'll go ahead and update the status. So now what that's done is automatically approved this one shift, the one filled by an employee. And so that's good schedule. The blue is what we have that set to. And the rest are still in this uh, warning. So it's just a warning with the exclamation mark, meaning that it's an open shift, kind of reminding you that that needs to be filled before this week actually takes place. and. Uh, and once your employees go in and select the shifts that they see, whichever ones they want, it's going to change from that uh, warning to the nice blue approved, like uh, dance shift. So we can go ahead and show you on our shift board here that now it's just going to take a second to load our open shifts. We have it set to the show the next 90 days. And there you can see there's a whole ton of shifts um, that week. <clears throat> all the open shifts show up and of course once we select one uh, maybe we want the shift on the 27th from 7 to 3 once we hit that it'll go ahead and move that over to our accepted shifts as we can see there and it's going to reload our open shifts and if you'd seen before there were probably four or five shifts that were on the 27th now we don't see any because since we picked that one up we're no longer available for the others so like you can see here there's a bunch of shifts for the 28th if we just pick up one of them, it'll move that shift over to accepted, and we'll no longer be able to see any of the other shifts on the 28th. And like you can see, it's gone there. And so the same would go if we reach our maximum hours for a certain week. Um, we may no longer see these shifts on March 1st. And then if we go back to our schedules, back to view 2, we can now see that those shifts have been picked up. and. Uh, are of course changed to our positive blue color. So that's all for picking up open sh or for generating a schedule full of open shifts. Thanks for watching.